welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are actually packing because we are heading off tomorrow. Well, we head off. This video was after the fact. Um, to our friend's wedding, they're getting married in Baltimore. It's our first time there. Um, this is the bride's hometown, so we're heading there. And I'm just excited. I know packing for a wedding is always a little bit tricky because you have to pack for the actual wedding. You have to pack little cute little outfits for either the rehearsal dinner, um, outfits to go sightseeing, especially when you're traveling to the wedding, you either go out for lunch or a little bit of sightseeing or just a little bit of walking around. Then you have to pack the makeup, the hair stuff, you know, everything. So I think it's a little bit trickier. Um, this time around, I'm gonna see how I pack because the dress I'm actually wearing is more of a ball gown. So I don't think I can stuff it in my carry-on bag. I am not checking any bags because because we're only going for the weekend. Um, so yeah, so I'm excited. Uh, the dress is back there. I'll show it to you guys right now. I need to pack a few outfits because we have my husband is in the wedding, so we are going to the rehearsal dinner. There is a brunch after the wedding, like on Sunday, and then a couple outfits just to go for lunch. Well, this is my first video with my short hair, apart from the one I actually cut my hair, which you can watch it. It's a couple of videos before this one. I'm loving it. I don't know if you knew this, but my hair was almost down to here, and I just needed a new look. I I don't know, and I'm loving it. So, but it's just. Excuse me if I'm trying to like grab my hair or stuff like that. I'm still getting used to it, but I'm super happy. Hola a todos, bienvenidos a este canal. Pues hoy estamos empacando porque nos vamos de viaje a una boda. Estamos el fin de semana se casan nuestros mejores amigos y se casan en Baltimore, en Baltimore, Maryland. Estoy muy emocionada porque la verdad nunca he ido y son unos I'm super amigos, los queremos muchísimo todos. Bueno. Pero bueno, quería aprovechar porque yo sé que empacar para bodas a veces es un poquito complicado porque que si llevas, bueno, el vestido de la boda, este, los outfits para los días anteriores, ya sea una cena, ya saben, en Estados Unidos acostumbra hacer el rehearsal dinner, que es como una cena más formal, y como mi esposo sí es parte de la boda, o sea, es un groomsman, así le dicen, eh, él sí es parte de la boda, entonces tenemos que ir a esa cena, entonces necesito tipo outfits para turistear porque no conozco Baltimore, queremos ir a ver, por lo menos ir a comer, aparte el, o sea, el vestido del rehearsal dinner y creo que nos invitaron tipo, es un brunch después de la boda, un tipo tornaboda, el domingo, no sé si vamos a llegar porque nos regresamos el mismo domingo, pero bueno, y luego la otra cosa es de que mi vestido, normalmente lo empacaría, pero mi vestido esta vez es bastante grande, o sea, es poquito ampón, no súper ampón, entonces se los enseño. Entonces no creo que lo meta en mi maleta, porque como no voy a documentar, no, si meto el vestido seguro me va a ocupar todo el espacio. Entonces voy a ver qué tanto voy a llevar y después vemos qué pasa con el vestido. Pero bueno, la mayoría de este video va a ser en inglés, pero ya saben que siempre les pongo y les comparto, nada más les quiero explicar de qué va a ser el vestido, eh, el vestido, eh, de, de qué va a ser el video y bueno, espero les guste. Okay, so a few tips before you start. I, depending on the trip, I like to try on some outfits before packing them. Um, this this happens a lot when you're going either on a work trip. Things like you really have to prepare for in advance. Definitely try the outfit beforehand. Never, never pack things be without trying them on. If, if they're new, if you've never worn them before. If it's your favorite outfit, you've worn it a few times and you know how it fits, then go for it, just pack it, doesn't matter. But it's happened to me um, it has happened to me in trips, which is very annoying that I buy something and I just throw it in because I'm in a hurry and whatever. And when I get there, I try it on and it does not fit or look the way I want it to. It looked better in your head than it does in real life. So always, if it's a new outfit, if you're planning things, try it on. Another tip, if you are a frequent flyer, if you tend to travel a little bit, I recommend having a ready to go bag or ready to go bags which is like um at this i do not so much it's not like an emergency bag that you keep in the trunk of your car or anything like that um i do with my toiletries uh bathroom stuff beauty stuff right now since we're back and forth a lot i've been traveling a lot this past month i have kept all my makeup in the same makeup bag this is my travel makeup bag i'm sorry with the glare um i pretty much fit whatever i'm gonna need it's the essentials Right now that we're going for a wedding, I'm just adding another eyeshadow palette and foundation that I use. It's been a full month of, it was fashion week, mid-September, then I came back and it was an express trip to Mexico City to see my parents and just family stuff. Then it was back here, full week in LA, the trip and everything. Then we came back for literally it's been four days and we're going back again. So I didn't even bother taking this out and it's just, it's easier to keep it like that. So that's a tip. Um, if you know you're gonna be traveling, just store everything. Another tip that I do with toiletries is I keep all my travel stuff, again, in a bag. So this is one. This is basically my skincare, but I always try and keep a Ziploc bag or one of these with 
all my travel essentials so that way I don't have to pack them every time I go. Okay, I want to show you what I have planned so far. Um, my closet, I forgot to explain. Like I said, it is, we've been in and out and it, it is a mess. I'm in the process of cleaning it and, um, you know, doing like a big closet cleanup and just organizing it. I just haven't had time. But I do have this little rod that pulls out that I, I use when I'm going to travel and like pull out a couple books. So I want to show you the ones I have so far. A couple of things from Sara the other day and they just got in, which is perfect. Um, it's supposed to be kind of chilly in Baltimore. I was always check the weather always always check the weather before you pack You never know um, it's weird because I checked the weather this week in Baltimore is kind of warm But then this weekend is supposed to drop quite a bit So always check the weather right before you leave or right before like the night before just for the weekend because you never know when it can change It happened to us um, I think we were on a trip to Paris and I had already packed everything. Everything was supposed to be kind of chilly and I packed boots, I packed um, coats and everything and like the day before I decided to check the weather and they had this heat wave come in and I started throwing things as I could because I mean I didn't really have that much time but yeah so always check the weather and plan ahead. So anyway. This is, I'm currently obsessed with like oversized shirts. I don't know if you've seen it on my Instagram with boots or biker shorts or booties or stuff like that. So I found this one. I have a white one that I've been wearing so much. This one is also from Sara. It like tightens here. So I might include this for like a casual outing. Um, maybe I'll try to pack some boots. I don't know if I want to carry them. Um, this one is also from Sara. Last year I bought myself a oversized pink panther sweater and I love it so this year I found this one and I just think it's so cute same you can do it with biker shorts or I was wearing it last year once it got cold with like skinny skinny jeans black jeans with boots and stuff like that and it's just it's a cute oversized sweater I'm just so excited for sweaters um then take this out I got this jacket that I'll try it on so you guys can see it also from Zara it's kind of I like it because you can belt it well it comes with a little belt and it makes it look really nice but it is very oversized so I don't know if I'm gonna keep it it this is a small so it, it is an oversized it does not come in an extra small um, so I don't know I'll try it on this one I just wore actually the t3 retreat I wore it for brunch and I am actually thinking of taking it for the after wedding brunch or whatever it's called um, I mean it's long sleeve. I wore it really casual with like sandals so I'm thinking maybe I can dress it up a little bit more with some cute shoes or something and you see what I would wear again since it's going to be kind of chilly. Um, this is another option maybe for the rehearsal dinner. I This is I wore for fashion week. This is Cynthia Rowley dress and it's, it's long sleeve and again I wore it with booties so I, I think I can maybe dress it up as well with some nice heels. Um, we also have this option which is a nice shirt dress. I wore it again in New York very casual with like combat boots with the Doc Martens and I really like how it looks but I definitely think I can belt it with a nicer belt and just some cute heels also maybe for the brunch or a rehearsal dinner. Um, I've actually never been to rehearsal dinner so I'm not sure how formal it is. Um, if not, if it's more of a formal rehearsal dinner, I forgot to pull this one out. But I do have this dress that I've worn a couple, just like a couple times. Um, I actually bought it for like a special occasion and we ended up not being able to go. So it never really got that moment it deserved. But I really, really love it. It's super cute. It's really dressy. So I'm actually, I think I'm going to call the bride and see um, how dressy the rehearsal dinner. Like I say, I've never been. I don't know if you know this, but in Mexico you do not do rehearsal dinners. You might do like a like something like a small gathering just to see some family out of from out of town but you usually don't do anything because the next day is going to be crazy um, I think that's just more of a US tradition I think um, but yeah I've never been to a rehearsal dinner so I'm excited I actually could like it I like the feeling that the wedding is more than one day like you get to see people more than one day so maybe we can do this option um, I'm, I'm gonna try it on and I'll call the bride later on and see, see what she thinks. And then of course, last but not least, it's the actual gown. I'm sorry, it's like when it arrived in the mail, I went a little bit crazy and I just like tore it open. 
uh, instead of actually being cautious and removing it and blah 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 I broke through the whole thing anyway so this is the dress this is Alice and Olivia it is more of a gown so I think I might just get like a garment bag and travel with it so it doesn't take up all my carry-on room space but yeah I actually tried this one on in New York and I loved it. They didn't have my size, but it was actually sold for someone else. And the girl was super sweet and said, just said like, okay, if you want, try it on. And that way, at least you know if you want to order it, you know which what size you are. And it worked. Actually, the one I tried was the perfect size. This is... I've actually noticed that I think Alice and Olivia runs a little bit big. Uh, I'm usually, usually a two. And then in Alice and Olivia, everything like a s smalls or twos were huge on me. So this is a zero. Yeah, this is it. I'm gonna try everything on and then we'll start packing. So those are a few of the outfits I'm planning on taking. Um, I ended up not trying on the polka dot one, the one I told you I wore at the retreat. It's super, super wrinkly. It's a really, really cute dress. I don't, I just don't think it travels well. So I don't want to have to deal with it. Also, it's very light and I was looking at the weather and everything like that and I think it's like more summery. Anyway, um, this outfit, <laughs> I love this sweater. Um, I ended up liking the jacket. It is big, but since you can tie it, it makes like, I don't know, it looks very cool. This is my take on travel outfit like travel day outfit i actually hate traveling and i am not a fan of when you wear workout gear or like gym leggings or stuff to travel um i do get it when it's a long flight when it's a super early flight you want to be comfy but at the same time since we're getting there and we're right away seeing people um i don't want to be I don't want to arrive in like my workout gear and just like feel super dressed down i would rather like comfy casual look so that's why I think I'm gonna go for these jeans the black jeans I'm wearing right now I'm sorry I moved the camera <laughs> um, the black jeans I'm wearing right now these are some of my favorite pairs of jeans are from Madewell they're super stretchy they're skinny jeans so I can wear with anything pretty much a sweater oversized sweater I'm not sure if I'm gonna wear this one or maybe just like a t-shirt and actually wear the jacket that's another tip um, if you 
are traveling to a colder place and you want to save some space, save some room in your bitch, put on your big jacket, take it on with you. It just saves a lot of room. It is a little bit of a pain sometimes on the plane or whatever, um, but it is. it does save you a lot of room um, and makes your bags lighter. So I think I'm going to take that one. I don't want to take super like winter stuff because I don't think it's going to be that cold. Um, it's just kind of chilly. So I think that one is perfect for layering. I can wear it over this sweater. Okay, so before we start, really quickly, um, PJs, this is probably the thing I forget the most. I've forgotten my pajamas <laughs> for so many trips. Um, basic Gap PJs are the best. Their cotton is amazing, super soft, and yeah, love them. <laughs> I just decided to throw on the garfield sweater in my suitcase and I can put it on once we get there or change or something. Um, but yeah, I decided to go maybe comfier route. This one, if it gets dirty, I can change up and that's pretty much it. So I'll see you in the morning. We're heading out pretty early, so see you in the morning. If I don't get a chance to say this in the morning, don't forget to subscribe. You can also follow me on social media, follow me at the Toasty Life and see all the pics from the wedding. So. Bye.